This is Ginger Reader and this is a tutorial on how to build a repeating pattern in Photoshop CS6. Here is our finished product, what it will look like when we're done with it. You'll see that we have this repeating snowflake pattern. If I go up to my layers panel here, I can double click the pattern overlay and see that we can scale the pattern up and down to make more snowflakes or less snowflakes depending on our preferences. And then we can also um, put a gradient overlay on this one and give it that lighter blue to darker blue look. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So now to begin, we'll want to create our pattern and define it for Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is go up to File and then create a new document. I want it to be a square, a perfect square. So I'm going to do 300 width, 300 height, and 300 resolution. And I'm going to click OK. We noticed back at our original document, we had um, a couple of different blue colors here, and I've laid them out in my swatches panel. So this darker background blue color, we'll go ahead and put that into the background layer. So I'll select that blue. And then we'll want to create another layer to create our first snowflake. And the snowflake shapes can be found under the custom shape tool. And then you have all the different images up here from Photoshop, place those in, in here for us. So we're going to select a snowflake that we want. I like this bigger one here. So I'll go ahead and make this one white. And to draw the image, you want to hit the shift key and drag out our image to ensure that it's completely proportional. Then we'll want to center it on the canvas. So we'll select both of our layers here and we'll center it horizontally and vertically. And now we'll want to make the snowflake break up into an offset. So we'll go up to filter, then other, and then offset. And we'll say, yeah, we want to raster size the shape. And so now because the canvas is 300 pixels by 300 pixels, we can specify that we want the offset to be half vertically and half horizontally and then make sure that we have wrap around selected and then click OK and it's broken up our snowflake into the four corners. Now we're going to select and create a new layer and I'm going to use a different shape for my center snowflake so I'm going to hit the custom shape tool again and then just go up here and pick. I want this smaller shape, uh, snowflake shape and it's made with that lighter blue color, so I'll grab that from my swatches panel. Hit the shift key again, and then drag out the smaller snowflake. Kind of pick out how big you want it to be. Then we'll want to center that on the canvas as well, so I'll select all three layers here. And we'll center it vertically and horizontally. That didn't work. Okay, now we're good. And at this point, we want to go ahead and go to Edit and Define Pattern. And this tells Photoshop that we're creating a new pattern that we can use in other documents. So now I'm going to call this um, Snowflake Blue Pattern. It doesn't matter what you name it. Click OK. And now I'm ready to create my new document. So I'm going to go up to New. And I'm going to, it doesn't matter what size I make this, but for my particular project, I'm going to make it 1,000 by 500 pixels. And we can leave it at 300 resolution. And I'm going to click OK. So here we have our canvas. We want to create a new layer. So enter new layer key. And then the background to get it, give it that transitional, here's our original, original document, that transitional lighter blue to darker blue. I'm going to go up to our new document and I'm going to put kind of a maybe a gray background behind it in this first layer so I'm going to do my paint bucket tool and drop that into there and then at this point I can go ahead and tell Photoshop that I want my first layer to have that repeating pattern so we'll select the FX document and then we'll click pattern overlay and my default is this vertical stripe pattern, this diagonal stripe pattern, excuse me. And then when I choose my pattern, I here I have my snowflake, so I'll go ahead and select the snowflake that I've just created in the pattern area. 
And here I can slide my scale tool to specify how many snowflakes or repeating patterns I want. It could be really small or it could be really big. So depending on your how you think it looks best, that looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to go to gradient overlay and I'll click on that and go up to the blend mode and select overlay. And then we have our repeating snowflake pattern with the lighter blue to darker blue and then just click OK. And that's how you make a repeating pattern in Photoshop CS6. Thank you.